Hi, everyone. This is Angela from Curry Senior Center. I'm here for part two of our lesson on how to use the Zoom app. On today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to start a meeting that you've already set up and the different meeting features that are available when you do join Zoom. First thing I want to do is open the Zoom app. It's a blue square with a white video camera icon. Now I've already logged into Zoom, so this is my home page for Zoom. You'll see the menu over here on the left. So home is in blue, so this is the different features I can use on my home screen. Over here, you'll see a little clock symbol and the word meetings. So I'm gonna tap that. This opens up the meetings that I've set up already. These are the ones that are coming up in the near future. So today at 10 a.m. I have a meeting that I'm gonna join right now. So over here on the right, you'll see a start button. Because I'm the host of this meeting, it's up to me as the host to start the meeting. I'm gonna press the start button. The first thing that you'll see is it wants me to call using internet audio. What that means is it will use the microphone and the speakers on my iPad to connect my sound to the meeting. So you do wanna select that when that window comes up. I have another note at the top here. This says that two people have entered the waiting room for this meeting. And the waiting room is where um, participants will go before the meeting has started. So over here, I'm gonna turn on my video. Whoops, the menus go away when you don't touch the screen. So I'll touch the screen again to get the menu. And I'm actually gonna go to participants. And I'll see here that I have two people in the waiting room waiting for our meeting to start. So this is a security feature of Zoom. And you can set that up in the settings when I set up the meeting, or you can turn that off. So I'm gonna admit both of my guests. I'm gonna use admit all, so it's faster, or you can admit people one by one. I'm gonna choose admit all. And as they join, you'll see that they're there and that their cameras right now are turned off. So I'm gonna turn on my camera, tap my finger over here, and at the top of the menu, you'll see start video. Whoops, tap again, here's my menu, and start video is off for me, so I'm gonna turn it on. Tap my finger and start my video. So now you can see my picture down here, and as people join the call, hi Ariel, you'll see that they're there. So let's tap our finger again and we'll go through the different meeting settings. How are you? Uh, Hi. Good. Oh, there's Philip. Great. Hello. Hi, well, thanks for joining our recording um, mm -hmm. for the Zoom lesson. So I'm gonna show the folks on the video the different features for Zoom. So you tap your finger on the screen and you get the menus. So up here at the top, you'll see a microphone symbol that says mute. And if you don't want people to hear your voice or you're maybe in a loud place, you would press mute. A red line goes through it and that means that my sound is off. So right now, Philip and Ariel can't hear me. So I'm gonna turn it back on. And I was just on mute, correct? Correct. <laughs> so you couldn't, yes. you couldn't hear what I was saying. Okay, great. Down here on the right, you'll see my picture. This is what the other speakers on the Zoom call see. And I can turn off my camera. Let's say, for example, I wanna have a big drink of something and I or eat something and I don't want people to see me. I can turn off my video and turn it back on by just pressing the video camera icon. Okay, so right now we see me down in the corner and we see Philip, one of the guests of the call. Hi, Philip. Uh, <laughs> but let's say I want to see Philip, me, and Ariel all together. Over here on the left-hand side, 
you'll see the menu. It's a little white bubble. It has a grid in it and it says switch to gallery view. So I'm going to tap that. So now we can see all three of the guests on the Zoom call at one time. So you can see who's speaking. I'm outlined in green, but now if Philip spoke, you would see his screen also be outlined in green. Howdy, I love to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Philip, for speaking on our call. Okay. Uh, one of the other things you can do if you wanted to is switch the camera view. Right now, my camera for Zoom is my front facing camera, which is here at my left hand uh, side of the screen. You see if I touch it, my finger, I'm covering my camera. I can switch to use the back facing camera by touching my screen and getting the menu and using the switch camera button. But once I do that, it actually goes black because right now my iPad is on a little stand here and the camera's on the back. So that's why it looks black. So tap the screen again to get your menus, and I'm gonna switch my camera back. So some of the other features of Zoom, you'll see at the top menu here, and there's three dots in the upper right-hand corner that say more. So this gives you a few fun features. So there are two things here called sort of reactions. And if I wanted to, and I'm on a call and I wanna have a reaction, I can choose the clapping hands for yay, I really like what you just said. I can choose the uh, thumbs up sign to say maybe that I agree with something. So once I choose that, I'm gonna choose the clapping. You'll see that my little picture <laughs> shows that I'm clapping or approving what we just talked about. That will go away after a little while. So again, tap the screen, you get your menu, tap the three dots. And I'll show you some of the other um, settings here. The next button says chat. So if I choose chat, it opens up a window. And this is good if you're on a meeting and you wanna ask a question, or you can talk personally to someone, but you have to be careful to choose to send a message just to that person. Down here in the bottom, it says send to everyone. And there's a tiny gray chat box at the bottom so if I tap my finger, it says tap here to chat or tap a message to reply. So I'm gonna tap here to chat and my keyboard comes up. So what I can do here is type a message and I might say, uh, if I wanna ask a question of the meeting that we're on, I might say, when is the uh, report due? Let's say we're on a work call. And then I can hit send here on the keyboard or I can hit send here on the Zoom screen. So I'll hit send. So now there's a chat window that pops up and I sent a message to everyone. And if anyone on the call knows the answer, such as Philip, they might reply to my chat. And then we can have sort of a conversation that goes on at the same time as the video. And so Philip has just responded. Thank you, Philip that the report is due on Monday. Well, today's Friday, so I better get on that report today. <laughs> <laughs> and Ariel also sees this chat because Philip and I sent it to everyone. If I wanted to, I can go down here where it says send to everyone. Everyone is in blue with a little tiny arrow below it. If I choose that little arrow, oops, I get the names of the people on my call and I can choose maybe to send a message just to Ariel. So now my little box here says send to Ariel and I'm gonna say, oh no, Monday. Cause I'm so worried that it's due soon and I'm gonna hit send. And it shows me now that I sent a message to Ariel privately. So now Ariel's the only one that got that message and <laughs> she sends me a private message back that she's going to help me with it. Thank you, Ariel. I appreciate that. Okay. So now we're done chatting. And the option here is to close or a bell. You know what? I'm not sure what the bell does. So I'm going to choose that. Ah, mute notifications. You will not see any chat notifications in this meeting. So I think maybe if you're in a meeting that's super busy and people are chatting and lots of things are popping up, you can choose mute 
to turn the um, notifications that people are chatting off. I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna close this chat window with the close button. All right, we're back on our call. And as always, you touch the screen and your menu comes up and we're exploring some of the features in that little three dot menu at the top. So we already talked about um, responses, the clapping and the thumbs up. We explored chat. We can look at some meeting settings. And these are the things that we set up, um, sorry, that are set up from when I set the meeting up and sent out the invitation yesterday. And these are just things that the host does. Um, so I'm not gonna go into every specific um, meeting setting, but you can explore that when you set up meetings. So over here, I'll tap the screen again. I'll go to my three dot menu and minimize meeting. That just means that right now my meeting is full screen, but I can minimize it and do other things on my iPad. So we'll show you that. So I'm gonna minimize the meeting and it puts it into its own small little window here. This is um, just the last app that I had open, which is the Zoom app. And the meeting is still going on, but in that little corner there. So I'm gonna tap Philip's head again, and that brings the meeting back to full size. Okay. Now, the three dot menu in the top right corner. And another setting, which is really fun, is virtual background. So virtual background, right now this is my office, so you see that in the background. But if I wanted to, I can choose a different background that puts fun stuff behind me. So here's San Francisco. Well, sort of. Uh, there's the Golden Gate Bridge. So you don't have to see people's messy bedroom backgrounds or anything like that. So down here, there's a choice of no background. And then they offer some other ones. Here's outer space. Um, or here's, I think, a leaf. So you can do that as well. So I'm gonna choose none. Oh, so this virtual background is what Philip and Ariel see behind me. And this gives me a preview of what they would see. But because of how the camera works, it sort of flips it around. So you look a little funny flipped around. I'm gonna choose none and go back to my regular one and choose the X to get out of there. So again, that's in the three dot menu and it's called virtual background. You can upload any photos from your photo camera um, app, and it will put those photos into the Zoom app for you. The last feature here is to disconnect audio. Um, I don't think we're gonna do that today because we wanna keep the audio going. So tap the finger again and the menu goes away. When we're done having our meeting, there's um, pretty straightforward up here, oops, in the top left is the end button in bright red. And that's what I would tap if I wanted to end my meeting. Now, Philip and Ariel can leave the meeting at any time. So maybe we'll show them that. We'll have Ariel leave the meeting first, and then it'll just be Philip and I chatting about our report that's due on Monday. And then I will end the meeting for all. So we'll say bye to Ariel. Thanks for participating. Have a good weekend. So now she's gonna leave the meeting. And now it's just Philip and I on the Zoom call. Now, Philip and I chat a little bit about other things we have to talk about. And when we're done, I'm going to end the Zoom call. So again, we talked about the different features. We talked about the menus that pop up every time you touch the screen. And we talked about how to turn off your audio and how to turn off your video. So have fun exploring Zoom. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I end the meeting. So I'll say bye to Philip. Thank you bye. for participating. No problem. So I'm going to choose the end button. And it says, do I want to leave the meeting or do I want to end the meeting for all? So I'm the host. So I'm going to end the meeting for all. Bye. Bye. So now Zoom brings me back to my list of meetings. And the one that I set up is currently still there on my menu. Um, I could restart that meeting, but I'm not going to since we finished our meeting. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the different functions on how to start a meeting and the features that are available 
when you do do a Zoom meeting. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy using Zoom.